Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the Sardell Radio Experience after the show for September 9th, 2008. I think I lost my mind on today's show. You really want to head on over there as soon as possible to SirDaryl.com, www.SirDaryl.com. And I invite you to listen to our show live Monday through Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern at AllDigitalRadio.com or SirDaryl.com or any of the other 19 radio networks that we broadcast on. Listen and enjoy. We started out today's show with my talking um, about uh, my, my, my colleague of sorts, Mr. Antberg, getting married. And then I started to just reflect on what it's going to be like for me when my daughter gets married. See, as a father, as a father, I don't see marriage in this big, beautiful way that the rest of you might see it. I don't see the party after the wedding, you know, that party right before the guy takes the girl back to the hotel room to screw her. That's not going to be a pleasant experience for me. Those moments, you know, like that last dance. Well, that last dance is going to last three freaking hours. I think that we as fathers, we pay for this crap. Where did this come from? And so when I started talking about this on the show today, I literally lost my mind. I literally lost my mind thinking about what it's going to be like when my daughter gets married and then leaves the party. Because I know where the hell she's going. She's going back to some hotel room to have sex with some dude. I, 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 I don't think that I can function properly. The show's over. I'm still sweating. Can you see the sweat? Can you see it? Do you, do you, do you see my hair? Is it my hair? Do I, I look like Pippi Longstockings now. This is not a pretty sight. I don't know that I can continue this. I don't know that I can continue raising a child. How do I get her to the nunnery? If any of you guys are listening, please, if you know how to make your daughter a nun, if you know the proper way to make your daughter a nun. See, I'm knocking over crap here in the studio. If you know how to make your daughter a nun, please send me an email, Daryl, at SirDaryl.com. Teach me the proper way to make my daughter a nun. I need to make sure that my daughter never, ever, ever has sex. Or... If you are a man who is considering marrying my daughter, I'm willing to actually arrange that in advance. If you're a neuter, if your penis doesn't work, or if you're willing to pay to be, excuse me, not pay, I, I'll pay. If you're willing to have yourself castrated, if you are willing to be castrated, I will pay and you can marry my daughter. We can arrange this crap right now. Daryl at SirDaryl.com. But the idea, if there's somebody out here right now, if you think that you're going to marry my daughter and have sex with her, I'm telling you right now, it ain't going to happen. It's not going to happen. Then the second hour, uh, we were talking about prostitution and why I don't think it should be illegal. I just don't think that prostitution should be illegal in the United States of America, nor do I think that drug use should be illegal. Now, I don't indulge in drug use. And I don't indulge in prostitution. But I raise the question, what's the real difference between prostitution and pornography? The only difference is a camera. If you got a camera there and you document your sexual escapades for the world to see, even if you pay the woman, it's pornography. No camera, it's prostitution. And you can go to jail. So all of you men who are out to look to buy yourselves some prostitutes, you better have a camera there. You better take pictures there. You better videotape it or else you are going to jail. Now, in the midst of all of this, I decided to do a little bit of spontaneous research to find out what would happen if I needed to have an attorney because I got arrested for prostitution. I could not believe I actually found a criminal law firm that specializes and helping people who are child molesters and rapists. Vigorous defense. I couldn't even believe it. I tried to get them on the phone. Now, I couldn't get them. They were supposed to call me back. They didn't call me back during the show. I'm going to be calling them back over the next couple of days. You really are going to want to tune in to the Sir Darrell Radio Experience over the next week so that we can get these people on and just talk about this. I want to find out how low they can go. And if you want to find out, Head on over right now and just subscribe to SirDaryl.com. I also invite you all to subscribe to, um, to these broadcasts so that you can get the wrap-up of what happened on the Sir Daryl Radio Experience. I invite you guys to listen to us live, www.SirDaryl.com 
or www.alldigitalradio.com. We're live Monday through Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern. We're 24 hours a day, seven days a week on SirDaryl.com, and our show is replayed on the All Digital Radio Network at 3 p.m. Eastern and 8 p.m. Eastern, and I think 11 p.m. Eastern. They, they love us over there. Why? Because your amazing host owns the network, www.SirDaryl.com. Go on over there. Subscribe today. The Sir Daryl Radio What's going on, y'all? It's them boys from the Midwest. Next to none. Sir Daryl Radio. Experience is the goal. A radio experience with Daryl. Let the show begin. Let's go. 